All right, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add Google Recapture to your WordPress login forms. And also, we have not only the login forms, we are also going to be adding this also to the registration forms. We are going to be adding it to these comment forms. And also, we are going to be adding it in every anywhere we have anything like WordPress default forms, forget password forms. You can all, we are going to be adding all this. And this is just done within few minutes or few clicks so without further ado without further wasting of time i'm going to train walking you straight into how to do how to implement this in your on your website hello guys you're welcome this is kingsley from bless channel in case you just joining me for the first time please ensure you subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you can notify each time i upload new video or so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever i upload content like this so you can see from my side now there's actually no recapture set on it so i'm going to quickly log in and show you how to set it up so um you can see i'm actually i'm logged into my so i'm going to quickly just scroll down to where we have a plugin i'm going to go to add new but before then i'm going to now go to i'm going to click here i'll go to where we have i'm going to go to google and search for i'm going to just quickly search for google recapture so just search for it so once you open this you just try and click on the first link you see here that's the google recapture so now once you add in here now what you're going to do now you're going to select this admin console so you are going to click on admin console but you want you have to make sure you are logged in with your account you can see i'm actually logged in with my account you can see these are several other sites i have I actually have the capture set up on so now i'm going to just select this particular one i have so i've actually created it before but i'm going to try and do something let me see So I'm going to delete it so I'll show you how to add it up again. So I'm deleting it. You can see it has been deleted. It's no longer here. I already old. So now I've deleted it now. So I'm going to be showing you how to quickly add it up to your site. So to create a new one, what you're going to just do, you can just click on create. You can see over here, you can click on create. So you got wait on this you can see we have the label here you can just add anything to be your label for me i'm going to just name it the my website is just copying it so now i'm going to now one thing we have the v3 and we also have the v2 well in most cases i usually use v2 reasons is that v3 most of the time in case that um, sometimes might even be be able to uh, log you out from your account especially when you are connected to multiple or to a hotspot or a wireless line now you notice sometimes it might just start it might have some difficulty maybe trying to reach the because of the any change maybe change the network and all all those stuff so it might try to see you as maybe you are actually a bot or something like that so it will the best one i usually use is actually the v2 challenge so now from once i click on the v2 challenge i'm now going to or where we have our domains i'm going to now add the domain here so now once you add the domain you are going to just click on submit that's all so once you click on submit it's going to load and you can see it has generated for us the site key and the secret key so now these are the two things will be needed so now i'm going to head of go back to where we have our and search for google recap recapture so once you just search for for it is going to come out so you see there are several plugins you can actually make use of you can see we have advanced google recapture you can see but i'm going to make use of this particular one i think this is the one i'm going to recapture by best web soft 
So this is the one I'm actually going to be using. Razer is actually having a lot of active installation and comment compared to this other one. So I'm actually going to I'll prefer using this. So I'm going to just click on install. In case you want to know the one I'm actually using, so you can see this is the one I'm actually using. Half of this number of installations, so you can just check it out. So once that is installed, you can just click on activate. It's going to activate it for you. So now with that done, the next thing we are going to be doing is going to go and copy. We have to copy the codes and come and insert it to our this. Is, so now you can if you scroll down here, you are going to see recapture. So now we're going to just click on setting. So now here is it. So now what we are going to be doing, you can see the version is the V2. You can see version two that we actually selected while creating this. So now if you want to, you should note, you should take notes. If you, if you actually created a V3 and you go come here and now you are selecting V2, it's not going to work. It's going to give you some errors. So what we are going to do ensure is all both of them. If you're using V2 here on your site, you also it should be V2. But if you're using V3 here on your site, also it should be V3. So now we are going to click on here to copy the site key. Then come here V2 as I said. Then you come to site key. You are going to paste in your site key into here. Now go back here and copy your secret key. And come back here and insert pasting your secret key over here so now once you've done that now another thing you're going to come here you can see enable recapture for so now you can see you can, i want it to be enabled on reset password or comment forms and also on registration form and also on my login form so now with that done that is all i need to set up for this recapture to work out so once i do that i'm going to click on save so once I click on save, you're going to see it's going to save my now. I'm going to try and log in to my sites from using I'm going to try and log in on incognito mode so that you see how it looks like now. You can see on my login page, you can see now this is my new login, my login page, and now you can see. I now have my recapture over here. So now you can see by the time I click on this, you can see telling me I should. So now I'm going to just select the traffic lights. Say if you select traffic light, I'm going to just select those with traffic lights here and click on verify. You can see the recapture is actually working out. So let me just log in and see. You can see I'm actually logged in you can see from here it's already logged in it's logging into my dashboard so you can see this is e easiest way you can actually add recapture to your login forms your registration forms to actually try to strengthen your site security or to prevent both unusual bots from actually sending you spam comments to your website so i believe you might have learned a lot from this tutorial if you have any video again yeah, wants me to actually work on you can drop in the comment box below i'll try my best to see how to answer and if you have any difficulty inserting this to google recapture to your site you can actually also drop in the comment box below i will try to see how to help out in any way i can so until next time this is where i'm going to stop i'm going to recording more videos so if you i always ensure you turn on the notification you subscribe to my channel also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload videos like this so until next time bye for now